Here's our anchor. Yay. The entire spade of the anchor was literally covered in a huge donut of coral. Last time on Abandoned Comfort. We explored the heart of the Everglades with our dinghy and electric motor. After we finished exploring Shark River, we sailed off the hook for the first time, then completed our 75 nautical mile passage to Key West without turning on the engine once. We are safely in the Stock Island Marina. We're just waiting for Corey to arrive to clean and polish our tanks. I called him and he is on his way, unlike Marco Island. So it'll be really good to get these things polished and all cleaned up so it's just one last thing that we need to worry about when we're underway and don't have to worry about all that gunk clogging up the engine. No, the last filter is in here for us oh, okay. here, so you can see the, the difference. Wow. It's a lot cleaner. Yeah. A lot less trash and grit. I don't think you'll have any issues when you transfer fuel. The fuel should come out of there just fine. Good. Yeah, there wasn't much in there. I just saw the... Yeah, it works the best because that flushes the, you know, the Action. more fuel you have to process to get the little bit of trash, it's sometimes better when the tank's low. All right. Total bill, $330 to get both of the tanks cleaned and polished. Not that bad. Well, that's only projected. Yeah. Spent more on Marina, so. Dealing with flaky fuel guys yeah. back in Marco. Yeah. I can tell in the reserve tank, it definitely looks better. That was the one that was the most dirty, he said. The main wasn't bad, maybe because we already ran it through the system. <laughs> but the reserve tank said was definitely the more dirty one. So it's done. One less thing to worry about. Small chunk of change, but a lot less to be stressed about. Can't put a price on peace of mind. Right, Rue? All right, you're going back to editing. Yeah. I need to. Yeah. I'm on lunch break right now. <laughs> Protein bar and some dog pads. Back to editing. All right, back to work. What are you fishing for? Like some sort of tape residue or something in the port reserve tank. Fuel polishing guy literally just left and cleaned out the tanks, so maybe that churned it up. But now we're bleeding all of the reserve fuel into the main tank, there's not much in here. So we're bleeding that out into the main tank so that way we can just top the reserve tank off completely tomorrow when we leave the marina. All right, that would have taken me about two more hours, but Ryan got it. That was in the port reserve tank. Yeah. We're bobbing along to Marquesa Key, and then tomorrow morning we are headed to the Dry Tortugas, and we are stoked. Sailing, slowly but surely. Much later than we thought though. Today is Saturday, we were supposed to be leaving on Monday, and the winds just were not in our favor at all. They were gusting around 35 the whole week, and we didn't want to go out on those, so we waited out, and now we're just bobbing along. So we had a window yesterday, but yesterday was Friday, and the number one thing that we promised Jim, the previous owner of this boat, was we would never leave on a Friday. We have kept that promise. The only time that we didn't do that was our shakedown cruise, and if you don't remember how that played out, the episode links are right up here. <laughs> we're supposed to be in Cuba right now. We were supposed to be in Cuba four days ago, 
but we're not rushing anything. We want to make the jump from Dry Tortugas. We want to see Dry Tortugas first before we get to Cuba. The mic wasn't on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I got him on camera. That was the biggest turtle I have ever seen in my life. He's like, what did I miss? We totally missed that. You missed it too. I did. Oh my gosh. What you got? Real. Come here. What, what you got? That? What's that? What is that? <laughs> he has a huge thing of like sponge coral. He's loving it. He's like little fingers to it. And he's loving it. He's not biting it, he's just carrying it. <laughs> I don't know who's chasing after the bird more, Ryan or Rue. What you got? Big old shell. I've never seen one like, oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> it's probably got it inside of it. The conch or conch or whatever it is. I don't see anything. You Smell one? this? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think it's in there. I've never seen one in real life either. I've seen bits and pieces and like fake ones from the store or real ones from the store, but yeah, they're real store ones. ones. Then. Yeah. Yeah, that's but what I've seen. I've never so. picked one up off the ground. First. Maybe? This place is pretty cool. So apparently a lot of Cuban chugs end up on this beach. So it's not rare at all to see one, but we're running out of daylight here, so I don't think we're gonna find one. But still, this place is, this place is really cool. This is the clearest water I've ever seen. This is the clearest water you've ever seen? No, a bathtub. Oh, zinger. What you got? Oh. Oh, okay. There's so much random pieces of plastic, line, so much line. all over. I mean, literally right here. Just right here. And right here. I mean, I'm not even looking before I'm turning on the camera to see if there's plastic around me and guaranteed that there is. It's everywhere. Yeah. <sighs> Frustrating. And it's not like we're so innocent either. We're the ones that are driving around with the diesel engine, pumping fumes and fuel. Only for about Oil. Half an hour. Yeah, only only in half an hour, but still. We're partaking and polluting the oceans as well. It's tough. Is that the sun? That's weird. That's east. That has to be the moon. It's barely trying to focus for you guys, but that's the moon. Looks like a sunrise almost. Wow. It's moving so fast. <laughs> Thank you.
Fun fact of the day, if you look up the definition of fair winds and falling seas in the dictionary, you'll get a picture of today. We are successfully anchored in the dry tortugas. And we saw our first seaplane over there land. That was pretty cool. Kelsey pulled up a huge hunk of coral. Did on you the see it? I didn't see it, no. Oh my god. So here's our anchor. Yay. The entire spade of the anchor was literally covered in a huge donut of coral. This was the first time we've ever drug. Like, we didn't yeah. set right away. I mean, we knew right away, too, that it wasn't setting. And so we were like, we gotta pull up. So we pulled up, and this water is so clear. I can see it coming up. I thought it was mud at first, and as we, it was getting closer and closer to the water line, I was like, that's coral. Just a massive donut of coral around the anchor. Yeah, it took so. you longer than usual to pull up the anchor, and I was like, what is going on? Because I was literally right on yeah, top. You were right on top. <laughs> I was like five feet from that cat. <laughs> but we pulled it up, and then it like wasn't coming off at all. And right as I got it over the bow roller, like dropped down. And Brie wants a carrot. It's the only human food we feed him besides peanut butter. Peanut butter and carrots. Look at that seaplane.